Taiwanese ambassador Tom Cho conducted an agricultural tour of one of the many projects between his country and St. Lucia. They began after the two countries renewed ties in 2007. A number of ministers, including Prime Minister Stevenson King, are usually part of these tours. He was notably absent on Tuesday, although the Agriculture Minister and Information Minister were present. His absence may be explained by what the ambassador says is a crisis in the government. Tom Cho did not expect that crisis to have any effect on the relations between the two countries. I don't think uh, the tie between Taiwan and St. Lucia uh, will be threatened uh, due to this kind of uh, 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 internal crisis in the government. The Taiwanese ambassador has often been at loggerheads with the leader of the opposition. In fact, Dr. Kenny Anthony has repeated calls for the Taiwanese government to recall the diplomat. Tom Cho says discussions would resolve any issues that might stem from the possible return of a Kenny Anthony administration. I don't think it, it would be appropriate for me to criticize any uh, person or any political figures in this country. Uh, apparently, he has some misunderstanding about uh, the difference between Taiwan and China. But I think the, the time uh, will prove uh, some of his uh, perception maybe is not uh, correct. And some of the information he, he received only is one side. If he received the both side information, he will make a, a better uh, perception about the relations between Taiwan and St. Lucia. Cho says he has no interest or opinion on the political issues currently gripping the government. He is also confident the current crisis will be resolved peacefully. I focus more on the social and economic uh, development. I believe uh, the wisdom of St. Lucia can solve this problem uh, very peacefully and uh, uh, we find out, they will find out a very good solution uh, to get over this crisis. Diplomatic relations between St. Lucia and Taiwan have already been severed by a Kenny Anthony administration that followed the 1997 elections where SLP defeated the now governing UWP 16 to 1. Carmi Joseph, HTS News, Channel 4.